Yeah, there's my neighbors. <laughs> Such nice neighbors. They do like to come over and uh, disturb us here, though. But they're, it's for our own good, I understand. <laughs> How's it going, people? Uh, conventional wisdom would have me doing this this uh, first chapter of Mosiah up in my crib with a bottle of scotch. There's not that many drinks, but I just had to get out and enjoy this nice day. I had found one of these in my fridge. I have one bottle of Holy Grail Ale left. So, seems appropriate. Besides, I don't really feel like drinking scotch at the moment. Maybe later. And now, there was no more contention in all the land of Zarahimla. Can't help but pronounce that name like L. Ron Hubbard would uh, say Zenu or something. Zarahimla. How can you take it seriously? Among all the people who belonged to King Benjamin, so that King Benjamin had continual peace all the remainder of his days. And oh, oh. Ooh. Right, that a little fast. It came to pass that he had three sons, and he called their names Mosiah, and Himlorum, and Helaman, and he caused that they should be taught in all the language of their fathers, and thereby they might become men of understanding, and that they might know concerning the prophecies that had been spoken by the mouths of their fathers, which were delivered uh, them by the hand of the Lord. And he also taught them concerning the records which were engraven on the plates of brass, saying, My sons, I would that ye should remember that were it not for these plates, which contain these records and these commandments, we must have suffered in ignorance. Even this present time, not knowing the mysteries of God. So you need to get them from a book. They, you just can't pluck them out of the air. Because, I mean, wouldn't the Word of God be easily accessible if it really were the Word of God? But if it's some cult <laughs> with specific doctrines, you have to have their specific book. I mean, why, why do all these words of God not agree with each other otherwise? Yeah, they needed this book. Those plates. For it were not possible that our father Lehi could have remembered all these things. You know, you could find people who have the entire Koran memorized today. <laughs> of course, it's all in rhyme if you're... It's in Arabic, I guess. But, uh, you know, it's easier to remember something in rhyme. But you know, there's people that have most of the Bible, and maybe even all of it, memorized, you know. <laughs> it can be done. Yeah, he couldn't have remembered all this. If it was important, he would have remembered. Or God could have just, you know, projected the knowledge into his brain. Like he did with L. Ron Hubbard. <laughs> or something like that. Uh. Lehi could not remember all these things to have taught them to his children, except it were for the help of these plates. For he, having been taught in the language of the Egyptians for some weird reason, but he lived in Jerusalem all his life, up until 600 BC, therefore he could read the engravings, these Egyptian writings, and teach them to his children that thereby they could teach them to their children and so fulfilling the commandments of God. 
that we might read and understand his mysteries and have his commandments always before our eyes, that even our fathers would have dwindled in unbelief, and we should have been like unto our brethren. The Lamanites, who know nothing concerning these things, or even do not believe them when they are taught them because of the traditions of their father, which are not correct. Nothing's correct with this book. If you ask somebody who believes this book and nothing else. O oh, my sons, I would that ye should remember that these sayings are true. Because you said so. Just take his word for it. And also that these records are true. And behold, also the plates of Nephi, which contain the records and the sayings of our fathers from the time they left Jerusalem. Until now, and they are true, and we can have them before our eyes, because you stole them. <laughs> and now, my sons, I would that ye should remember to search them diligently, that ye may profit thereby. And I would that ye should keep the commandments of God, that ye may prosper in the land, the land according to the promises which the Lord hath made to our fathers. He's made a lot of promises. They're almost like, you know, treaties to Indians in this country. <laughs> and many more things did King Benjamin teach his sons, which are not written in this book. Yeah, but don't worry, you won't miss out. And it came to pass that after King Benjamin had made an end of teaching his sons that he waxed old, and he saw that he may, must very soon go the way of all the earth, therefore he thought it expedient that he should confer the kingdom upon one of his sons. Wherefore he had Mosiah brought before him, and these are the words which he spake unto him, saying, O oh, my son, I would that ye should make a proclamation throughout all this land among all this people, or the land of Zarahemla, and the people of Mosiah, who dwell in the land, that thereby they may be gathered together. For on the morrow I shall proclaim unto this my people, out of mine own mouth that thou art king, a king and a ruler over this people whom the Lord God hath, hath given us. And moreover, I shall give this people a name, and thereby they may be distinguished above all the people which the Lord hath brought out of the land of Jerusalem, a peculiar people unto himself. <laughs> And this I do, because they have been diligent people in keeping the commandments of the Lord. And I give unto them a name that never shall be blotted out, except it be through transgression. <laughs> always, there's always a loophole. Yea, and more, moreover, I say unto you that if this highly favored people of the Lord should fall into transgression and become a wicked and adulterous people that the Lord will deliver them up and thereby they become weak like unto their brethren and he will no persevere uh, preserve them by his matchless and marvelous power as he hath hitherto preserved our fathers. For I say unto you that if he had not extended his arm in the preservation of our fathers, that they must have fallen into the hands of the Lamanites and become victims of their hatred. Ah. <sighs> 
And it came to pass that after King Benjamin had made an end of these sayings to his son, that he gave him charge concerning all the affairs of the kingdom. And moreover, he also gave him charge concerning the records which were engraven on the plates, and also the plates of Nephi, and also the sword of Laban, and the ball or director which led our fathers through the wilderness, which was prepared by the hand of the Lord, that thereby, thereby they might be led out, one according to the heed and diligence which they gave unto him. Therefore, as they were unfaithful, they did not prosper, nor progress in their journey, but were driven back and incurred the displeasure of God upon them. And thereby they were smitten with famine, famine and sore afflictions to stir up uh, them up in remembrance of their duty. And now it came to pass that Mosiah went out and did as uh, and did as his father had commanded him and proclaimed unto all the people who were in the land of Zarahemla that thereby they might gather themselves together to go up to the temple and hear the words his father should speak unto them and that's where they leave off thrilling I won't keep you in suspense long because I want to finish this book and get on to other projects anyway. So, I'm going to go take a nice walk and enjoy this beautiful day. And I hope you're having a beautiful day too. Peace the fuck out, people. Uh, yeah. And have a wonderful day if it's like this or a wonderful night or whatever the fuck it is. Have a good one. Yep, this is my little buddy. I think I've just converted the squirrel to Mormonism. He has been hanging on my every word. And he's damn cute. <laughs> I don't know if you can make that out. The squirrels in this park are huge compared to the ones at the river. I gave him a granola bar and he just went nuts. <laughs> it was a nutty granola bar. <laughs> he was just such a good listener, I had to reward him. <laughs> After suffering through the BOM with me. <laughs>